crafting friends welcome to creative moments by g i'm g and so happy that you're with us tonight we are live it is thursday night 7 p.m mountain time we've already been over on instagram and facebook to invite everyone to join us tonight we're going to make a panel card with a small easel okay and we already have some people on we just want to have a special welcome to Tisha, thank you so much for sharing and giving us a thumbs up. And if y'all want to do that, it's right underneath the video. There's a place to share and give us a thumbs up. And that helps us so much. So if you are watching the rebroadcast, take a moment and do that for us if you would. And then Linda, oh, fantastic. So happy to see you tonight. Jesse is with us from Florida fantastic okay let me see thumbs up and shared i went a little crazy got that up on the screen <laughs> okay so let's see we also have um melissa hello hello melissa well how is everybody doing how did your july 4th fair did you spend time with family friends did you have some great fireworks let us know in your comments. Monty and I got to see some really pretty fireworks. It was nice and hot here in southern New Mexico, but we did get to see some nice fireworks. And I just is so pretty, right? The, the sky was clear, hot, <laughs> but it was clear. We didn't have any rain, which I don't understand because July is supposed to bring the monsoons to the desert. Hey, Don, thank you so much for sharing. We appreciate that. And we just want to welcome everybody that joins us tonight and takes out part of your time. We know there's so many crafting shows to watch, and we just feel so special that you join us right at 7 o'clock. Yes, thank you so much. Well, like I said, tonight we're going to do a panel card. And this panel card is a little bit different than most than what we normally do. Oh, welcome Charlene from Canada. That kind of slipped by. Welcome from Canada. And Pat, welcome from Alabama. We're also going to include an easel card on our panel card. So it makes it so darn cute. We think you're really gonna like it. So I'm gonna turn over the chat to Maudie, my sister. We are on this crafting journey together and we have so much fun. And we're gonna head down to the crafting table and we're gonna get started. Let me see if we can get this going. Now, I want to show you this card. Look at this. This is a panel card. Your normal panel card just is a panel. It's not a base card. It's just a panel. But what? And normally, you have your little note card right in the middle, right? We've all made that. But we've changed ours up just a little bit. And we've turned it into a little easel card. What do you think about that? Do you like that? Now look at that. Is that not cute? <laughs> I love this. Paula from Georgia. Welcome from Georgia. Yes, we love that. We just appreciate y'all once again for joining us on our crafting journey. My goodness. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do when you create this panel card is of course, hey, you need a panel, right? And I wanna remind everyone that our measurements are already listed over on Creative Moments by G. All you have to do is go to our blog, click on it, and you can just copy and paste all those measurements. So you don't have to worry about taking down any measurements, just sit back, relax, and chat with us. That's what we want you to do. Hey, Carol, welcome. So we just have your base card. And this base card is simply five and a half by four and a fourth. Remember I said it's not a typical base card. It's really just a mat, right? Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna add some panels on the side. And we like to double mat. Which brings me to a question for y'all. What is the one material that you always like to put on your cards? 
What would that be? Embellishments? Would it be maybe you like ribbons on your card or you like gems on your card or you do mats? I think Maudie and I like to do mats on our card. So that's what we do. What is the one thing you like to always include on your cards or at least try to include on your cards? Is it gems, ribbons, mats, uh, DSP? Hey, Carol, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you signed up. Oh, let's see if we can get that. If you signed up for uh, the newsletter that we have, I told you in the newsletter that one of my new passions is trying to play around with uh, painting my nails. <laughs> so that's what I do. So if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, make sure you do that because you learn little tidbits about Maudie and I, but we also send you PDFs. So Maudie would go ahead, if she would, and put the link to sign up for the newsletter in the chat room. So we have our two panels right here, our two little panels. So let's go ahead and lay those down on our mat. So we're just going to use some glue. And you know, we get a lot of questions about what is that glue that you're using? Well, we do use Tomba's green glue, yes. But we also use Kalel. Kalel never clogs up on us and we really like that. Oh, you do Wink of Stella. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Teresa from England. Oh my goodness. Teresa from England, welcome to our show. And just, <laughs> I want to share a little something with Teresa from England. Maudie and I are watching a show, I think it's from England, called um, Line of Duty. We love that series. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's on Prime. And it is really a neat cop show. Really like it. Okay, now look what we've done. I think one of the favorite things Maudie and I like to do to our cards is we like to map them. And we like to bring in DSP because it makes it so easy, right? So now we've just brought in some of that. Um, now this paper is from Delightfully Eclectic. And isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love that. Look how pretty that looks. Love those colors. And you know, one of the things you all know that I like bright, vivid colors. So I guess that's another activity that we like, that I like to do is I like to really mix my colors up. <laughs> and so a lot of times I'll get people and they'll say, well, that was very interesting. <laughs> I don't know if they like it or not. I can't really tell. Okay, so here we have this. Th Look at that. How easy is that, right? Well, the next thing we want to do is we're just going to cut a little note card. And this flap card is eight and a fourth by two and seven eighths. And then it's scored in the half. Now, the next thing you need to do is score it in half again. So let's go ahead and bring in our trimmer because that creates the easel, right? So we have that at four. I'm just making sure four and an eighth. So that means that we need to score it at two and a sixteenth, right? So let's go two and a sixteenth. Oh, let me move this out of the way. I would sure hate to cut my poor little card. And we're just going to crease it right there. Give us a good score line. Let's move this out of the way. And let's go ahead and just give this a good crease. Bring in our bone folder. Okay. And now look. Look at that. Now, one of the tips that I want to share with you is you might say, oh, that's your last name? <laughs> Teresa England? <clears throat> no disappointment there. Let me see. I'm just making sure. Haha, <laughs> no. England is my last name. <laughs> Here I went into this long explanation. Well, y'all, if you have Prime, you need to, if you like cop shows, you need to watch uh, Line of Duty in Line of Duty. 
It's a great show, whether you're from England or your last name is England. <laughs> okay, but let me go back to the tip. See how it doesn't really stay down, right? It kind of goes up just a little bit. The way to get that down is to crease this one right here. Really give it a good crease. And that causes it to stay down. See how it stays down now? So the one you really need to crease is this back crease and it will lay down. <laughs> okay, so now let me see if I can compose myself, right? Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do is I cut just a little rectangle and I'm just going to put it right there on the front. You can see that I don't have much of a border at all, but there we go. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I have a little sore throat, so excuse the coughing. <laughs> so there we have that. And now I stamped hello on this one. Don't you love that? And let me show you what stamp sets we get these goodies from. Irresistible Blooms, we get that hello. I just think that is so pretty. And then Textured Floral. We're gonna use these flowers right here. Now what's so great about this design is if you don't have these stamp sets, we all have sentiments. We all have flowers, butterflies. You can use whatever stamp set you have, but this is what we're using tonight for this card. Okay, so here we go. We got this, I'm just gonna, and you know what else I like about this uh, Kalel is you really can wiggle it. When we use the Tombaugh green glue, forget it. I can't wiggle it. I know people say they can, but I cannot. So here we go. We're going to open this up. And I'm just going to put this down. Because see, we just want a hint of the purple. Okay, so here we go. Get a little bit of that. Going to lay it down. And now we're going to stamp those beautiful flowers. Now, you know what's so cool about those flowers? Now, let me see. I had a piece of paper. Okay, we're just gonna use this piece of paper. I don't know where that paper went, but <laughs> we're gonna improvise. Okay, I have all my stamps right here. Now, we are going to be using for our inks Knight of Navy. Now let me give you a little tip. We like to stamp Knight of Navy as our black because it is such a dark one and it just stamps beautifully. We do use Memento, but for us, I don't know why, I'm going to blame it on the desert, but for some reason, this is what we like to use. And then we're going to use Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Gorgeous Grape. So let's go ahead and grab our Granny Apple Green. Now, these are called distinctive stamps, and that means that it's not going to be dark all over. There's going to be some variation in it, and that's okay. It's supposed to look like that. So tap, tap, tap. Hey, Brenda, Canada, welcome, our friend from Canada. We also have another friend that is not in the chat room with us, but we want to say a very special hello to our dear friend, Kay, from Sarasota, Florida. Hey, Kay. So happy that you're with us. Now, we're going to go ahead and stamp that, and we're just going to hold it down so that the ink can transfer. And look at that. Now, see, that's the difference between a distinctive stamp and one that stamps a solid image. Isn't that pretty? Love that. So here we go. We're going to stamp two. We're going to put that to the side. Oops. And now we're going to bring in our gorgeous grape for our flower. Now this is also distinctive, so let's see what we have. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh. Love, love, love these colors. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to do one in Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to take just a minute and see if anybody said anything about what it is they like 
to use as their main thing. I told you that we like to use mattes and DSP. Oh, glitter and bling. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wink is Stella. Okay. Perfect. Well, if you just joined us, let us know what is the one thing you like to try to always include on your cards. We like to know. So we're just going to push down. And now look at that. It's very different than what you would expect, but aren't those colors pretty? I love those colors. Now we're just going to add that right there. <clears throat> And now, by the power of video, <laughs> uh, we are already have these cut out. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to get this laid down. Now, we are going to just have a little border at the bottom, a little border at the top. So let's just get that laid down. Horse and sleigh online only. Oh, Pat, you know what? I'm going to take just a moment, and I'm going to talk to you about that. Hang on just a second. I'm going to come back full screen and share that with you. We are so excited. Now, look at that. We just glued that down. So hold on just a moment. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. Thank you, Pat, for asking that. Stampin' Up, if you like Stampin' Up products, they just went online today with their new online exclusives, and they have a sleigh that is fantastic. Stamp and die set for Christmas. Oh my goodness, it has a sleigh, it has a scene, it is fantastic. And the only way to find that is to go to stampinup.com. If you shop with us, great. We would love to have you as a customer, but you can shop with whoever you want. And you can just type in on the little magnifying glass, online exclusives, and then you can sort by newest. And you'll see that online exclusive. Oh my gosh, we already got it, and we're going to start making some cards. But what is really cool is they have a truck. Now, I forgot the name of it. But we bought three sets because we're so excited. Maddie's giving one to her grandkids. And then we have two more. It has a punch that has a truck. And then it has a stamp set that goes with it. And it's one of those old-timey trucks, right? So you can use that. I mean, I can already think of all the different ways we can use it. We can use it for Valentine's, for fall, for Christmas, for Halloween. You can put things in it. Oh, my goodness. It is so cool, and I know it's going to sell out fast, so that's something that you may want to consider. <laughs> so I just had to come full screen and share that with you because we are super excited about that. Okay, here we go. So let's continue with this. Now look at that. Isn't that cute? But we're not done yet. Because we have to add our flowers right here. Now what's important to note is this does fit in a regular envelope. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and see where we can add our flowers. I'm going to glue one down and then I'm going to put two up on dimensionals because I want to set my leaves underneath. So let's just go ahead and get that one right there. Now I'm going to bring in a dimensional and put that right in the center. And we're going to get this one like right here. I'm going to get my little yellow one down. This is such a darling little design. I just think it is so cute. Oh, good, Polly. That is so cool. Yes. And now these leaves are going to go right underneath. Now look at that. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue them down. So, we will be working on getting some designs out for that truck bundle because, oh, like I said, you can use that for any occasion and any season. It's going to be so much fun. The only thing you need to remember about this is you need to keep it inside the card. So, 
There we have it. Now look at that. Look how cute that is. Love those colors. But we're not done, right? Because you have to have a stopper right here. So we went ahead and cut two layers. We need to stamp our message right here. We're going to go ahead and use our Knight of Navy. Tap, tap, tap. Go ahead and stamp that right in the center and hold it so that that ink transfers. And look at that. Oh, loving that. Okay, I'm just going to stick all those stamp sets up. Okay. And now, because this is a stopper, you need to set it up on dimensionals so that it really does stop your card from closing, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back. And I want to invite you, if you haven't checked out our Instagram, Maudie and I are posting new cards every day, Monday through Friday. It's either a card or it's a skill. And I know that some of you have already seen that, and we certainly appreciate you checking us out. So let's go ahead and get that laid down. There we go. And I'm going to put them again on the back to set it up. Because like I said, it is a stopper and it does need to be raised. And we're almost finished with this one. And then we're going to move into the Fiesta card. <laughs> Birthday card. So we're just taking the backings off. And then you, all you need to decide is how far do you want this to come up? Look at that. We want it to come up about right there. So I'm just going to open that up. Put this right here. Before I squish it down, I'm going to make sure it's level. There we go. And there is our first card. What do you think about that? Isn't this cute? I think it really adds to it. Like I said, we used to do a panel card and just do a note card on the front. and It was just like this. But this little extra, I think, is just a surprise that they can see. So we're going to set this to the side. And let's go ahead and move into our second card. Okay. So <clears throat> let me show you the stamp sets we're going to be using for our second card. Look at this. We have Timeless Charm and Taco Fiesta. Now, this is a real specific card, right? I know, but this is such a cute little card. Great for birthdays, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I mean, you could even do Christmas, right? Because you could decorate his little Christmas hat to go on him. There's lots of things you can do with this. So, let's go ahead and bring in our mat, right? It's just a regular mat, just like I said. And now what we need to do, you're, I know you are excited to see what kind of paper did they choose. Well, once again, we went into that really cool DSP called Delightfully Eclectic. It has like all these sheets of paper. Look at what we picked for our panels on the side. We love stripes. We love old olive. We love how it coordinates with each other. So let's go ahead and lay that down. I'm telling you, the night goes by so fast, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm still laughing, Teresa, about thinking you're from England. I'm still laughing about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Teresa, did you tell us where you were from? I, I missed it if you told us. Where are you from? Since it's obvious, it's not England. Okay, and now I'm going to put, just lay this down right on top. And there we go. Okay. And I, oops, and I will remind you that if you use this Kalel, it does wiggle. So, I like my wet glue to wiggle because that really gives me time to get it exactly where I want it. And look at this other side. We have pretzels if you were so inclined. 
right? Okay, so here we go, and there we have it. Now on this card, we decided to go with Old Olive. So, because we're picking up this Old Olive right here, right? So we can go ahead and just lay this down. And because this is Old Olive, we need to go ahead and lay down some white, right? Because you can't, can't write on that. And we've already scored it. Remember, you just have to score it in half and all these measurements are over on our website. Now look at that. Here we go. Just going to push this down. <clears throat> Utah! Okay. <laughs> well, you are nice and hot up in Utah, I bet. So there we have it. Now we do need to lay this down right on the inside because this allows us to write our sentiment, right? So we're going to go ahead and get this laid down. And there we have it. We're just very going to press very lightly. Okay. And now what I have done is I've used the stamps from the kit and I have stamped these cute little llamas and this cute little hat. I'm going to stamp a chili, and once again, I'm going to use my Knight of Navy. <laughs> and we're just going to grab us a little chili right there. And now we're going to use some blends to color them. Now, remember what we've said before, and I'm looking for a piece of paper, which I had, but our blends will soak through this because they're really rich and, and juicy, right? So make sure that you have a piece of paper down. Now we have Old Olive, oh, Tahitian Tide. This is a vibrant blue, we love this. Sweet Sorbet, and this is Dandelion Delight. So here we go. So we're going to color this little guy first. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Okay, there we go. We're just going to color the top of his hat. Now I normally like to use the brush nib, but it seems like this brush nib is a little bit flattened out. So I'm going to go back to the pencil nib. And then I'm going to bring in some of that sweet sorbet. And I'm just going to color those little triangles right at the top. This is such a festive stamp set, but there's so many things you can do with it, right? Okay, and that's really all we need to do to this one. Now I'm going to bring in that Tahitian Tide. I'm going to open up my nib, my brush nib, and I'm just going to get that. I'm going to turn it sideways, and I'm just going to go ahead and color his tail. There we go. Now I'm going to go in and color a little bit of blue right here. Bring in the rich sorbet. Use that brush nib because it does go a lot faster too. I like that. <clears throat> and then we need to have our dandelion delight. Okay. Let me get that. Now I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of blue on these little bitty rectangles. Just give us a little bit of color. This is such a fun, fun stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and color his little nose. Yellow. And you can go ahead and color his body if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and leave him white. Now we are going to color this red. Give us that sorbet color. And get that all colored. And we're going to do the little green. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Maudie and I live in southern New Mexico. We live in the chili capital of the United States, Hatch Green Chili. 
How many of you have heard of Hatch Green Chili? They sell it everywhere. <laughs> so we have already cut out our little green. And um, I'm trying to think. I think we cut out we cut out our little guy here already. I'm gonna put him right there. So now all we need to do is go back. Oh, I always do that. You would be disappointed if I didn't do it the wrong way, right? <laughs> little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we went ahead and we cut these out. Now what we're gonna do really cool on this is we are going to stamp using this blotch. There's all different ways to do this, but this stamp set already has it, so why bother, right? We're going to use these colors, Real Red, Old Olive, and Tahitian Tide. And I'm just gonna stamp that Tahitian Tide right there. Hatch Green Chili, yes! To make sure it's not too dark, yes. Okay, so we're going to tap, tap, tap. Just going to put it right in the center. And it's very pale, but that's okay. That's what we want. We just kind of want it to, to be, um, you know, just faint. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do this and see what happens. Look at that. I like that better. I stamped two of them together. Now the next thing we want to do is I want to bring in the um, red and with this stamp set comes some little curly cues. So we're going to go ahead and just stamp those and stamp maybe one down here. Bring in our green and we're just building our background, right? Just trying to add some layers. Get that cleaned off. Oh, look at that. Such a festive little background, right? And we went ahead and we cut out his little hat and we glued it on. And so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put him like right here. We're gonna put a green, a red chili there maybe a green chili there, just like that. So let's set him up on some dimensionals. Let me find my dimensionals. And let's see what we have. Oops, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, get two dimensionals on there. Now we have, um, our next live normally is on the third Thursday, right? But because we won't be here, we're having it on the fourth. So mark your calendars. The 27th. We're going to go ahead and just put him right there. The 27th will be our next live. And we are almost at, in fact, we might be at our millionth view. Now, when we have a million views, we have a fantastic prize that we are going to let people qualify for. Woohoo! So I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, so here we have just a little bit of cute fiesta that we're gonna put right here. Now look at that, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, so cute. Now we're not gonna set it up on dimensionals. Just gonna lay this down right there. Hold it for just a second. And look at that. What do you think about that? Now what do we need? We still need our stopper, right? So we have our layers cut. We need to stamp our message that we're going to stamp in Knight of Navy. We're going to tap, tap, tap. You spice up my life. Okay. And we're gonna add some dimensionals, right? Because when it's a stopper, it needs to actually stop 
your thing from closing. So we need to go ahead and make sure it has some height to it. So let's get that. So we're, we have so many people in different, different states. Did you have some beautiful fireworks? Let us know below. I would like to know. Alabama, Utah, Canada, Florida, well, not Canada, <laughs> Florida. Did y'all have some beautiful fireworks? Let's go ahead and add this right here, but remember, we're gonna add it up on dimensionals. And you know, Pat, what's so great? Patty, oh, Polly. What's so great about this card is it's quick, it's easy. You can use scraps of paper for these panels right here. And we all have little scraps of squares and rectangles that we don't know what to do with, right? So you can just use those to create this cute little easel. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put him right there. Now look at that. Look at that. It sets up perfectly. Now remember the tip that I gave you. This is the score line that you really want to give a good crease to. And that causes it to stay down, right? So looking at these two cards, let me see, where are we? Whether you are watching the rebroadcast or you are live with us, take a moment and tell me which of the cards we made tonight is your favorite. Now, stay with us because I have two additional cards to show you that will just give you some additional ideas. But let us know in your comments right now in the chat room or below the video, which is your favorite. This beautiful hello with the flowers and the polka dots or the fiesta card. I think they're both so cute, but I want to see in the comments which you really like. I would love to see the piñata. It really could be a piñata, absolutely. I moved to New Mexico and became allergic. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Linda, that's terrible. From Virginia, and the fireworks were okay, but you love the flowers. Thank you, Tisha. Melissa, love the flowers. Uh-oh, I think the flowers are beating out the little piñata guy. Uh-oh, flowers. Flowers, got a lot of flowers going on. Okay, so I'm going to set these right here, and I'm going to just say bye-bye to my picture. And I'm going to bring in our other cards that we are going to share with you. Now, I showed this earlier. You know, Monty and I love, or I certainly love, the black and white with purple. This is freesia or red or yellow. It just looks so pretty. But there, here's some flowers, too. So we have some more flowers, but we have our black and white design. And then finally, look at this one. We decided to use the earthen textures with this pot. Look at that. We love this one. And we also decorated the back. Now, you don't have to do that. You can make this as detailed, as complicated as you want. But look at that. And also, when you lay this flat, goes in an envelope, you could put a piece of white paper right here and you could have more room to write. So you, you're not limited to just this little space right here. So here we go. Here are our four cards. Oh my goodness. If you are interested in receiving one of these cards, Go ahead and take a moment and just put card in the chat room and, um, and then make sure that you go to our contact form on our blog and send me your address. Now, there's a lot of you that you know I have your address uh, and you know who you are. 
But so if you would like to be in the drawing to receive one of these cards, we have four. We can send these cards out to you. We would love to do that. So just let us know. Put card in the chat room. And we will have a drawing and see the four people. We will close this up and have a drawing and it'll be a surprise for you. Okay. We love these cards. We love these stamp sets. What makes it so nice is you can use whatever stamp set you have. We want to remind everyone that we will go, uh, oops, oops, we will go live, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> on the 27th, it's over here, <laughs> right here, oh my goodness, I can't even find it. <laughs> We will go live on the 27th at 7 p.m. We see a lot of people who are asking for the card. We will, we will surprise you. If we only have four people, there you go. If not, we will randomly select the four people to receive the cards. Now, if you put card, the only way we know your address, if you haven't received something from us before, you know who you are, please go to creativemomentsbyg.com and in the contact form, send me your address so that we can take care of that. Pat, thank you so much. Holly, thank you so much. Sandra, Paula, Linda, Teresa, everybody that participated in tonight. We love y'all so much. We just appreciate you sharing your time with us. Go out, make it a fantastic night, fantastic weekend, and we'll see you in our next video on the 27th. But remember, next week is gonna be full of videos from us on Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and then we post on Tuesday and Thursday. Have a good night, y'all. Bye-bye.